Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your daily card for the 19th of February. Sorry, I have been a little bit late with um, the other card, daily cards, but I'm busy with other things as well, mainly with the website to get the across the T's and dot the I's. And this is the um, Witch's Oracle deck and we're going to pull one and then I'm going to di we di discuss this um, and clarify this quite deeply. So I hope you can see it. It's a beautiful card. It's called the Silver Box and well the message here is that perhaps you've been focusing on things for quite a while and on too many things that you're too much in your head and it represents imagination in your intuition and your illusions and also your ideas how there's so many ideas there's a lot going on we've just had Christmas six weeks ago and um, Valentine last week so perhaps it is best to put all your thoughts and secrets in one place to guard them from um, getting lost and dispersed so focus on one thing at a time that is the message here also keep some information to yourself don't let everybody know your ideas if they're good ideas like um, a new idea that you want to put out into practice then you perhaps it is not the right time to do so at this moment it's a lot like the eight and the two of swords you're too much in your mind now i'm going into the meaning and these cards i love these cards and you can meditate on it you can think about it it's food for thought and also you can use them to take the warning and do the incantation whilst you're meditating the meaning of this card is sometimes we lose focus and lately so much has been going on in your life that your thoughts and emotions have been scattered. They've been left out to fly around and get in misplaced rather than being held within the confines of a safe container, which is what the silver box represents. Your mind has been working over time and important thoughts and ideas pop into your head and leave you as quickly as you need to hold on to those flashes of intuition and regain your focus in order to find that happy medium between the chaos that currently surrounds you and the peace of mind that is badly needed at this time. Take five minutes a day to focus on this card. Your mind open the lid in your mind open the lid and file away those scattered thoughts ideas and inspirations they will serve you well in the near future all thoughts this is the incantation that you can say all thoughts and ideas hop into the box so they can't slip away like a sly little fox safe and sound and secure they shall stay to help me on another day so write your inspirations your ideas that come into your mind when you're sitting quietly or doing meditation on a piece of paper or in a little book or a diary and put the diary or the paper in the box and don't let everybody know your ideas well that is your message for today Capricorn and I hope you will like it and it resonates with you. Now we're going on to Aquarius. And Aquarius, you've got the gargoyle. And the gargoyle, he is, you find him on cathedrals and other churches. And he is a monster. And he's actually a monster to protect you from evil. And that is what he represents and he clings on to buildings where, where most um, like 
churches and you can find them on castles as well but they ward off bad or evil okay so he brings you luck by protecting okay and uh, the gargoyles are old pagan gods um, so they are pure at heart but they look very scary the meaning of this card Aquarius is to some gargoyles are protectors they are said to protect the place they are bound to the gargoyles suppose, supposedly come to life during the dark hours fly through the city and keep threats both physical and spiritual away from their buildings when the sun comes up the gargoyles return to their roots roosts become inanimated stone once more witches have always sought out the gargoyles spirits for protection and the gargoyle card in this reading is now serving as a warning that you have to let your guard down lately you have let your guard down lately and that protection needs to be put back into place so you might, this is a warning for you Aquarius that you might need to protect yourself a little bit more because you've let your guard down and this is the incantation that you can say gargoyle take flight and surround me with light that will drive negativity away be in human or spirit or sprite in the day or the night keep me safe I do ask every day so it's basically <clears throat> like an angel asking for protection and to ward off the evil so that is the pagan belief what gargoyles are so there you go Aquarius now we're going on to Pisces hi Pisces and this is your card for today and you've got the Limbreth and the Limbreth we understand um, is like a maze and the Limbreth relates to the wholeness the Limbreth um, has been an, an important part in the pagan's life the, the Limbreth is also it is a flat surface containing intricately designed pathways but unlike a maze there are no dead ends in this puzzle okay it's the continuous path it's like the path of life so let's have a look what your meaning is for this card Pisces the Limbrith represents a journey to our own center and back again on out into the world the Limbriths have long been used as meditation and prayer tools as a metaphor for life's journey we can walk the Limbrith either spiritually mentally or in actual fact it is a symbol that creates a sacred space and place that takes us out of our ego to which is within basically the Limbrith is also a metaphor for the journey to the center of our deepest self then back out into the world with a heightened understanding of who we are it's high time you got reacquainted with your inner self so that is what the Limbrith means you need to take time out for yourself you need to focus on yourself and take five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night to sit quietly to evaluate <coughs> excuse me to let the thoughts in new ideas and to um, think about your thoughts and what you've experienced that day and let go of something that is of no need to you so that you don't get loaded up with issues and the incantation you can say um, in the, during the day is I lost myself in search of a new me this shouldn't never have come to be 
So now lead me back to the place I began, because after all, that was the right plan. I love these sayings. So bring back the peace, bring back, let me be peace, let me be balanced, let me be centered. Okay, that was for Pisces. I hope it resonates with you, my darling, and take care. <coughs> and we're going on to Aries now. Aries, you've got the hourglass. Ooh, nice one. The hourglass. Okay, Aries, the hourglass means time. Time is either of essence or take your time. And all time is running out. This could also be with regard if you want a family and uh, you, you've got a career, you're working hard. And take time out to think about what you want. When an hourglass appears in a reading, it is letting you know that time is of the essence. There is something that you have been putting off that needs to be completed and you are quickly running out of time. Do not delay any longer, Aries. And this is the incantation that you can say. Like Alice's white rabbit, I late for date. I'm late for a date. Time has flown by, and now it can't wait. Normal st stalling, it's now time to act. I must do it now, and that is a fact. Beautiful incantation. So, time is of essence, or take your time. You know what resonates with you, Aries. And now we're going to Taurus. And you've got the phoenix, and the phoenix is it may usually the phoenix means rising from the dead. Okay, a new beginning, and they can all the phoenix. And I'm going into this a little bit deeper, my darlings. So hold on. I have to also translate this for myself. The phoenix means um, basically arising from the dead in the tarot uh, or in other oracles. But it is a mythological animal and he's got a long lifespan. Okay, perhaps you're not feeling free so you can't spread your wings. This is what I'm seeing in the card. Also, earth yourself. That is what I'm seeing because there's red. Perhaps you might have to take action. Okay, here we go. This is the meaning from the card by the author. When you draw this card, the phoenix stands as a metaphor for being reborn. This can either manifest in picking yourself up when you're down and making the changes that need to be made or shaking off those shackles that have been holding you back. The phoenix is letting you know that no matter how difficult things may be right now, you will soon be reborn for a new start. The incantation that you can use, Taurus, is I will rise from the ashes, refreshed and renewed. The scars left behind will no longer be viewed. I'll be fit, I'll be strong, and in charge of my life. I'm, I'll be happy to ward off a world, world full of strife. So, if you are in a difficult moment, then know that there is a new beginning around the corner. And like I said, get that action going, be fire, earth yourself. So meditate five minutes in the morning or sit quietly and sit quietly late at night. Do the exercises um, that we do in the life sessions. Breathe through the nose, the positive energy and out through the mouth, the bad energy. Do that and it will bring you back to your center. And if you do it well with your stomach in, 
and out with your out your stomach out when you blow out you will feel refreshed you can literally feel it use that exercise do the breathing exercise that is important now we're going on to gemini gemini this is the owl and that is your card for today the 19th of february and if i look at the owl then i have to think of the king of swords the wise man is full of wisdom and he can see far ahead he puts the dots on the eye and crosses the t's that is like justice being precise looking at the nitty-gritty and when he flies he can see a small little mouse right from the skies and he hunts for his food so <clears throat> He's a magical bird, so he represents wisdom. Okay, this is what the card means in this deck. Owls symbolize wisdom. The ability to see things that are hidden. Omens, deceptions, observation. And total truth. Trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to what is going on in your world and you will not only instinctively know what to do to solve those issues that have been weighing heavenly on your mind, you will be able to see and bring about things that are yet to come. So use your intuition and focus around you, not in front of you. And don't sit in your mind, don't overthink things, use your wisdom. Beautiful card, Gemini. This is really a card for you because it also represents the wisdom, the communication. If you can see things that uh, with clarity, and then you can help other people as well as yourself and bring justice and clarity. Okay, great owl, I trust in thee to unmask the things I cannot see. Give me the insight to fix what needs mending and bring about a happy ending. So you can use this incantation for yourself or show somebody else the clarity and to mention this. If you keep on repeating this, then uh, you'll, you'll feel better. You'll get clarity. You'll start seeing things differently. It's also a reset of the mind. Okay, well, I hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Now we're going to the circle, the witch's circle. Now, I know a little bit about things from the witches, but not all. And the circle is a masculine is north, feminine is south. And <clears throat> you can also see the four elements here. We've got fire, we've got air. Uh, we've got earth and we have water. Or the, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure, but the full circles. Um, I'm learning signs because I've got a friend that is a pagan or a witch, whatever you would like to call it. But let's have a look. This is the meaning. And this is for cancer. We all feel the need to seek out our own sacred space at times. Even if we are not able to run to it when need be, because not all circus, circles are physical and can exist as energy patterns created by an, in, an enacted meditation of words, gestures, gestures and visualizations, one can be with you at all times. The circle represents unity, completion, continuity, wholeness and protection. Whether you create a circle physically or mentally, call upon it to soothe you whenever you feel the need for a safe haven and to er eradicate the sometimes harsh effects of the world around you. 
um, and this is a lot like what I do put yourself in the white lights that's the circle as well like in um, a bowl um, crystal ball S imagine yourself sitting in a crystal ball in a circle close it off to other energies put yourself in the circle this is the incantation that you can say when you need to feel unity completion and protection and wholeness my sacred space is with me wherever I go it is the one thing I will never outgrow I open the circle whenever need be it is my shelter and I hold the key wow nice one now we're going on to Leo and you've got the old hag <laughs> and I've got to think about these films <clears throat> the old hag and, and the old hag I think she represents the witch and um, the wisdom of and the life experience that one has when one is old but I could be wrong but I'm still learning the cards but this is the feeling that I get from this card Um, but she could also be she because she looks a bit evil or angry I think she could also be a, a warning a, a spirit okay the old H or the old hag the old hag is the old egg that's what it says here uh, with uh, with age comes wisdom they are that's what i said with, with age comes the wisdom is the message of this card as we grow we learn we mentally shape uh, uh, shapes shift shape shift we shape shift yes we do into becoming a person we were just destined to be those closest to you have been noticing this transformation in you in recent months and you've been feeling the changes as well embrace the new you don't be afraid to use the wisdom you have gained over time to reinvent yourself or to show yourself to others in a different light in other words you've grown you've like i said life experience and wisdom but in the olden days they used to um, the old hag also represented uh, the spirit in your in your nightmares and bad energies so like ghosts people believed in ghosts but you're in a transformational period and you might not be feeling um, quite well in your, your yourself because you are feeling the changes that's happening so it's a good thing Oh, there's bad things and, and good things to everything so the b bad thing is now you know that you're in a transformational period don't give up and the good thing is there's a new beginning coming okay and this the incantation for this card uh, Leo is changes come and changes go with age comes wisdom this we know I will use that wisdom to grow and thrive and once again to come alive wow that's beautiful okay Leo now we're going on to Virgo and Virgo you have the it's like a, a sword or a dagger and they call it the Althane Althane okay And the elf fame is a double-edged silver dagger and they use the the witches use this holy um, dagger um, for in their spells but um, I look at it from another perspective the the dagger of truth that cuts straight through to the core okay to get to the truth to cut out the BS the message of this card suggests that while you have the ability to see both sides of any <clears throat> of the issues or 
problems that you are facing at this time, you are choosing to be very one-sided and are only seeing what you want to see rather than digging deeper for the answers that will allow the situation to be resolved once and for all. It has been dragging on far too long. As the sword has a double edge, so do most things. It's the duality of dark and light, good and bad, that balances our universe. One cannot survive without the other. You must now open your mind to all possibilities and look into both sides of the situation to get the information that you are seeking. That is where you will ultimately find the truth. And that's what I said. Um, I would interpret this as like the sword going cutting straight through to the center to find out the truth, get clarity, justice. So I'm glad um, I'm, I'm a non-pagan, that's what they say, that's how they say it. And I'm so glad I'm, I'm beginning to understand these cards. Um, uh, I didn't look in the book before. Um, I just do it first my own interpretation and then I look in the book and that is what I'm doing now. Of course, I can't remember everything, but that is how you also develop your own intuition if you want to learn how to read cards. Look at the picture, see what you see and then go into the book. Write your, your own intercept interpretation down if need be. Okay, well, the dagger is shorter than um, a sword and so it is not too deep, okay? So it is, you won't fight because you don't have to fight. <clears throat> but you have to think about things and um, look at things from both perspectives because it's like the sword it's double edged so look from at things from both sides in order to get the right perspective and the truth now the incantation that you can use is front and back up and down side to side and all around open my eyes to all that there is and allow my judgment to be entirely fair. So don't look at, uh, and I'm getting to here, this is how it works with me. I also get a message, don't look, don't judge a book by its cover. Look at the inside of the book. So don't judge somebody from the outside, but get to know the facts and to get to know the person before you can judge or make an analytic or or a conclusion about something or a person. Okay, now we're going on to Libra. And Libra, <clears throat> here we've got the Eye of Hor. And the Eye of Hor um, is Egyptian, we all know that, but it also, for me, it represents the evil eye. So, you know, it's like, um, this is, for me, this has also got an um, um, a modern interpretation to it. In Turkey, they've got the evil eye to ward off evil, okay? And the eye of horror. Um, I forgot what the meaning was because I've been to uh, Egypt. Um, the eye of Horus. This ancient symbol is one of the protection of power and good health. There you go, to ward off evil. Okay. Uh, there's beautiful meaning, Egyptian. It uh, was the ancient Egyptian sky god who was usually depicted as a falcon, the mirror image of, or left, uh, the, mir uh, and the mirror image of the left eye sometimes represent the moon. The separate parts of the eye can be divided in ancient Egyptian measurements into six parts. The six parts correspond to the six senses, touch, taste, hearing, thought, sight and smell. Since the eye is considered the receptor of input, it has 
these six tools to receive data. One, as all your senses. So your antennas might be out. If they're not, they should be. People ascribe a number of meanings to the eye of Horus, including protection, wisdom, healing, and revelation. Use this all-seeing eye to awaken your senses and your own third eye to tune in more deeply to the world around you. There is much that you have overlooked. So like I said, ward of evil, um, don't focus what is on front of you, but focus on what is going around in your own world. And I said, put your antennas out. Now, some people might be too young to understand what a tennis is, but we had little uh, wires, uh, sticks, in when, when I was younger, and they were the receivers to the TV, and they called them a tennis, like feelers. So that is what you have to do. That's what I said before I started the card. And this is how I learned the cards, by giving them my own feeling, my own uh, receptive uh, feeling through feeling, thought, seeing, and it's quite. I was quite near to the right um, meaning of the card. The incantation you can do is here. I sit with eyes wide shut, wide shut. I must pull myself out of this rut. There is so much I'm missing and need to see the gift of vision, please send to me. So, that is what you can say. And the universe will hear. But because you're, you've been brought to attention, you need to open your eyes, your ears, your senses. So do that. Start living. And this is how you also get within, okay? Your third eye. Okay, listen to those ideas and listen to your feelings. See your feelings change. So there you go. Now we're going on to Scorpio. Scorpio. You've got the salamander. The salamander. You see them a lot as tattoos because they represent rebirth, regeneration, renewal, so there is a new beginning for you, because when they lose a limb, they grow back, okay, so it's transformation, it's very unique, the salamander comes to those who are in need of change in their lives, and asks us to evolve, these magical creatures will reveal to you how the energy of your will can be used to alter and recreate the environment around you. Change isn't always cheerful and it's sometimes something we often fear. But when the salamander appears, these changes are meant to be meaningful, positive and enlightening. Perceive the changes going on around you and adapt to your best ability rather than fighting it and go with the flow because that is the way you should do don't you can't fight a river okay Scorpio don't go against the flow that's what I'm hearing what once seemed lost can be replaced all things that can be retraced I embrace the changes they will serve me well. All fear and negativity I now do expel. That's the incantation that you can say. Now we're going on to Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, you have the key. And we all know that the key means you've got uh, the power to change what needs to be changed. You've got the key in your own hand. I won't go into the history or the meaning of the, the key as such which relates to the pagans, 
but it's a skeleton key. So a skeleton key, you can open any door. Like I said, you hold the key in your own hand. You can open the door to positivity or to negativity. It's a lot like the key in the Lenormand. When you get this card, when you are stuck in a situation without hope or ideas, which you seem to be at the moment, use the symbol of the key as a way of unlocking new prospects and finding solutions. Hold this key up to your third eye and envision an unlocked door before. Then take the key and unlock the door. The incantation that you can use for this card, all locks have keys, all winds has breeze. Most doors swing open with the relative ease. This key I hold is a metaphor to unlock all doors that were locked before. So open your heart, open your mind and unlock those thoughts and ideas. So you can decide which door you want to open and which door stays closed or you want to close. I hope you've enjoyed these readings everybody and I hope to see you tonight. Please share and like. Until tonight, be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.